Like curiosity was piqued while viewing old photographs of 1877 San Francisco. In school, I learned that this was the westernmost frontier, and that it had been first populated in the 1850s, when men on horses, carrying wooden carriages behind them, first arrived searching for gold. Hollywood movies and school textbooks depict the San Francisco of the late 1850s something like this. A quaint little town of cowboys and carriages. The buildings are simple wood structures. There is even an alleged 1851 photo of San Francisco to support the drawings. Imagine my surprise to find that, in 1877, only 17 years later, San Francisco was a city of millions, and boasted several grand cathedrals, and other massive architecture reminiscent of old Europe. Wow. The time between 1860 and 1877, must have been a mass-scale building project unlike anything in history. Just imagine how these cowboys on horse carriages built massive cathedrals within a shorter time than it takes to build comparable structures today, with our advanced technology. How do you suppose gigantic granite stones were quarried on wooden carriages? It's especially strange, knowing that most Americans were Protestant Christians who believed in humble wooden churches, not the grandiose architecture we see here. I snipped them out for close-ups. All of this was already built and standing in what Hollywood movies termed the Wild Wild West. Something doesn't add up. Who built this huge city that is on par with older European ones? When was it built, if, in 1850, there was almost nothing there? According to Wikipedia, this is the timeline of San Francisco. The official version of things the one taught in school, says there was next to nothing there until around 1849, when the first hotel was built. The timeline continues, but no mention is made of when these grand buildings were built. How odd. So, up to 1863, all kinds of clubs and societies were founded, but no mention of big building projects. Only one building is mentioned. In 1863, Cliff House rebuilt. Hmm. The Cliff House is a massive structure. Why does it say it was rebuilt? When was it first built? I found no mention of that. Just that was rebuilt in 1863. The timeline continues. Stunningly, the only mention of building anything between 1863 and 1875 is Grand Hotel built. Wow. Are you historian sure nothing else was built? Like, a whole series of cathedrals, towers, stadiums, arches, grand columns, courthouses, etc. Just another hotel. And then, between 1875 and 1877, the Baldwin Hotel was built. Riddle me this. When was this massive city built that supposedly didn't exist in 1850? Where is that on the timeline? This painting said to be true to reality, was published in 1860 by lithographer Lauren Deroy. The photographs from 1877 prove that this painting is probably a true image of what a part of San Francisco really looked like in 1860. The problem? 1860 is only a couple of years after the gold rush years, in which San Francisco supposedly looked like a typical cowboy town, with wooden huts, a saloon, and a few horse wagons. It is unlikely that a place of such scale was built in less than 10 years, unless some unknown power and skill was deployed. How do you get from this, in the late 1840s? To this? Yes, I learned in school that there was a gold rush. The gold rush explains the rapid population increase, and how they could afford to build all these structures. But it doesn't explain similar anomalies found in cities around the United States, cities that had no gold rush. And if San Francisco only really started in the 1850s, then why are there many prior references to it? A brief look at the newspaper archive of the Library of Congress is revealing. This is from the Southern Telegraph, 15 August 1838. We learn that in 1938, San Francisco provided anchorage for ships of the largest class, and that it was too well known to require notice. That's amazing for a city that supposedly only started as a couple of wooden sheds in 1849. This is from the Madisonian, March 18 and 1842. San Francisco was well established long before the 1850s. This is a Hawaiian arrival schedule from 1840. This is exactly what one would expect of a well-known naval harbor city. For it to look the way it looked on photographs of 1877, it would have had to been established for hundreds of years. If a city is built organically, without some unknown high-tech, that's how long it takes to grow to that kind of size. 
So, what is going on? My best guess is that there was a big city there before, just like in other places claimed to have started in the 1800s. The structures of this city were partially destroyed in several great fires that San Francisco mysteriously experienced in the late 1800s and an earthquake in 1906. Some structures were repurposed as buildings of the World Exhibition, claimed to be temporary structures, and then torn down after the fair. This is alleged structures built for the World Fair, but there are no photos, drawings, or reports of any construction going on in the years before. Most people who are shown images like these do not place these buildings in San Francisco. Their first guess is Europe. Give it a try. Show someone these images and have them guess which city they are looking at. The reason nobody guesses San Francisco is because the wild wild west was supposed to have been wild in those days. On many maps of the time, the west is shown as the great unknown, the vast emptiness, the terra incognita. There is a virtual map that shows US population density over hundreds of years. I screenshot the year 1843 and got this. According to fake history, all of these lands in the west were nearly unpopulated. One of the reasons I do not believe that the San Francisco exhibition buildings are temporary or built only to be torn down after is because they architecturally match other structures in the city that are not part of the fair, but what historians call real buildings. Look at this photo for example. And then look at the San Francisco Ferry Building. They belong to the same culture and style. Following a hunch, I decided to have a closer look at this ferry building. When you stand in front of the ferry building in San Francisco, on the third column from the left, you see a plaque that says that the building was erected in 1896. There is an old film of unknown origin that had been circulating on the internet. It appears to show the same plaque saying that the building was erected in 896. I looked for construction photos of the ferry building. I wasted 20 minutes on that, couldn't find any. Then I looked up the architect of this wonderful structure, Arthur Page Brown. On his Wikipedia page, I learned that this architect died the very same year he erected the ferry building. The ferry building is said to have been opened in 1898, erected in 1896, and designed by Brown in 1892. But I found no construction photos and no design plans. By the time the ferry building was presented to the world, nobody could ask the architect about it, because he had been dead for two years. The page informs me that he designed a relatively ugly private house in San Francisco, and then went on to design the biggest building in San Francisco to date. Of course, there are many similar-looking buildings around the world, so perhaps he had inspiration from those. I found only one photo of Brown. Amazingly, no other structures than the house and the ferry building are attributed to him. The supervising architect was Edward R. Swain, on which I found almost nothing. Official history tells us that the old ferry building stood at the same place before the new one was built. There are many photos of the old ferry building, from different angles. This ferry building apparently stood at the end of Market Street, at Embarcadero Square, from 1875 to 1898, when the new building was built. Unfortunately, I also found photos, from the same period, in which the Solder Ferry Building is absent. An example. Are we seeing examples of ancient photoshopping here? I suspect so. This is San Francisco as it supposedly was in 1878. The map reveals plenty of structures that look anachronistic and warrant further inspection. But let's stay with the ferry building for now. This close-up reveals the following structure at the end of Market Street. There is obviously some kind of larger building there, but the top of it is only barely visible. If you look closely at the tip, it looks more like the newer ferry building than the older one. But I'm not yet convinced. Unfortunately, all of the pre-1898 photos of Market Street pointing in the direction of where the ferry building might be, are whited out. This is supposed to be a drawing proposal of the ferry building. But perhaps it's the way the area really looked before. Many structures both in old San Francisco and other cities across the US are what ancient Rome was supposed to have looked like, not something cowboys built. This, by the way, is said to be the oldest building in San Francisco, Mission Dolores. It was built in 1782. Whoa, what? 1782. Yeah. Apparently this pillared structure was the only building in the area until the 1850s, when the gold rush started. None of this is anything like Little House on the Prairie. 
We have been propagandized to think of the 1800s like this. When it was actually like this. And this. In conclusion. There is someone editing history as we go along. George Orwell was right when he said that the ruling elite, erase, rewrite, and edit history, as they see fit. Knowledge dissemination relies on you. Share this video far and wide. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.